Hey guys, Terry here, AKA Lucrative Soldier, bringing you an unexpected review on the Atlas 80 volt self-propelled lawnmower from Harbor Freight. So I'm gonna start off by saying this review is unexpected because I've watched many of the reviews uh, here on YouTube about this mower um, before purchasing the mower. And that was the reason for purchasing the mower. Um, I, I had no intentions of doing any review whatsoever on this mower until I went to use it and I realized I don't know, I, I need to do a review on this because it, it's not the same as all the reviews I've seen. So aside from all the great reviews I heard about the mower, the other reason I purchased this mower is because it is one of the lowest cutting rotary motors you can find. Um, I can't find any that'll go down to the heights that are required for Bermuda grass. Um, this is one of the lowest cutting ones and will get you I believe it's one and three eighths inches low. Um, and I couldn't find anything that goes any lower or, you know, quite that low. Um, so that was my reason for purchasing this. So ideally you should have a reel mower. I've been using a push reel mower and honestly I'm, I'm <laughs> over that. Um, so the options for electric reel mowers aren't many and it's very expensive. I did find one on, um, Amazon for uh, under $300, I believe. Um, but, you know, I kind of, I'm, I'm not a fan of real mowers just because they're finicky and, you know, they take a lot of work. You got to keep it adjusted. Um, you know, it's just a lot involved with the real mowers. So I kind of went the lazy route and found this rotary mower. And, you know, first runs, you know, as soon as I got started, I had a big smile on my face. I was excited. My yard was looking lovely on the first pass, you know, nice and low. And, you know, the, the grass was probably four inches long, three to four inches long. So I wanted to bring it down to probably two um, before bringing it down to the lower step. So the first passes were at about two inches and it seemed to be going good looked good um i saw the difference i was pleased i was happy with it and then out of nowhere um the mower started struggling okay so i'm cutting my bermuda lawn down um i was without a mower well without a decent mower for a little bit uh so you know got pretty long probably three four inches so now I'm cutting it down. Yesterday I cut it down on the number two setting. And to the right is what setting we're on now, which is number one. To the left is number two. But, um, you know, you can really tell the difference in the color. Uh, so the Number two is the greenish color grass. And then number one is where it's all looking dead because um, it hasn't been cut this low in a while. So I will say on a fully charged battery, we were able to cut this whole line and it took um, almost a whole battery. And this line is not big. Um, and it kept cutting off on me, um, you know, so we have the different settings and speed, which is turtle slow and rabbit fast. Well, to be honest with you, it does not do fast. Um, you know, turtles a little slow for me, um, like creeping around. So I prefer fast, get it done moving. But um, it can't handle fast. So I had to pretty much cut the lawn in slow motion um, just to get it to run without um, cutting out on me. So today we are starting with a new battery. And same issue um, from setting two to now setting one. Um, it still can't handle it. It's, you know, going through and 
if I'm going any faster than turtle speed, um, the mower can't keep up with it, the blade can't keep up with it, and it will cut out on me. Okay, the battery's been charging for a while. It's still not completely charged, but it's at three bars, almost four, um, which, you know, should be sufficient to get this yard done. But it's not. There we go, three. Just change the angle so we can see a little better. There you go, three lights. <sighs> Let's run with it. Uh, see if I could do this one handed. And here we go in turtle mode. Turtle mode. And you can hear it running as if it's a low battery, but you saw it has three bars. And there you go. Turtle mode shut off, can't handle it. You know, back it up and you can see what it does to the line. Oh man, so it's very disappointing. We're going to try to, you know, get it finished up and take it back. So, you know, I started to see it struggle. It started to feel like, you know, it didn't have enough power. I started wondering, did I miss something? Is it running on 40 volts, not 80? And, you know, they're going through the instructions of the battery, the mower, everything there is no option to run that mower at 40 or 80 volts. Now the battery that you purchase for it is usable with the 40 volt or an 80 volt tool. Um, but when using it on the 80 volt mower, it automatically does 80 volts. So, you know, it wasn't a, a, an option um, of whether I was using it at 40 volts when it should be 80, but it, felt like it was only using 40 volts. It started struggling. You know, my yard's not that large. Uh, you should be able to get, I want to say it's, it tells you, I believe 80 minutes of run time off of a fully charged battery. Um, and I got nowhere near that. My yard is very small and I checked the battery after the first mow and it was already down to like two bars left out of four. So half depleted. Um, but then I went to go start up with the next phase, lowering the mower, doing the next pass. And I mean, I literally didn't get anywhere. Um, it just struggled. It wouldn't go. It, you know, and I looked and it wasn't two bars anymore. It was now one. And that was without really even doing anything. I opted for the uh, speed charger, the fast charger, the charger, the, you know, the more expensive charger that charges faster. It did not charge anywhere like it says or claims. Um, it, it's supposed to take, I want to say 45 minutes to fully charge the 80 volt battery. And it took well over two hours, um, you know, so I started to think maybe it's something wrong with the battery. I immediately packed up the battery, went and replaced it with a new battery and, you know, let that one charge, went out, went to start up and, you know, I was thinking the battery was the problem, but it wasn't. I was having the same issues. It didn't have the power. And halfway through my lawn, a fully charged battery was already halfway depleted. So I decided it's not the battery. It's possibly the mower, um, whether it's a faulty mower or mower period. So I, I packed it up, took it back. I didn't pick up another one because, you know, those are one of those things where you feel like you're spending all this money. Quality control should be there. You shouldn't have to, you know, a, a mower is not a small thing. I honestly didn't want to have to pack one up, take it back, 
try another one, unpack it, put it back, you know, put it together and try another one for success. So, you know, it, it's very possible I got a bad mower. I don't know. I didn't try multiple uh, mowers to see if any did any better than the one I had. So with that said, I'm very disappointed in my purchase and I feel like with the reviews I've seen that I possibly did get a bad mower, but like I said, a mower is a big purchase. It's a big item. I really didn't feel like taking it back getting a new one and taking my chances again. Um, I think I'd rather try a new brand and see where it goes from there. Okay, so if you found this review helpful, please give it a thumbs up, a like, a subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated and I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace. <music>